WWE Rock and Sock Connection Starter Set unboxing coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the RSC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at luckydicecafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is also brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Use the promo code Mr. Clicks Flicks for 5% off your Heroclix order today. Alright guys, so today we have a WWE Heroclix unboxing. This time it's the Rock and Sock Connection starter set. Uh, so this is pretty cool. This is going to have a map. It's going to have six game pieces uh, according to this. Uh, starter sets also come typically with PACs, rule books, um, some object tokens. Uh, this will come with a double-sided map, and so you see the figures that we're getting into here. Uh, you'll see them in a little bit of an angle here, but we'll uh, we'll give you a better look. Uh, so we've got The Rock, Mankind, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, Ric Flair, and Shawn Michaels, a.k.a. the Heartbreak Kid from <laughs> back in the day whenever I would have been watching him. I know him as the Heartbreak Kid. Um, so anyway, uh, there's the front. We've got a little bit of side art here where you can see three of the figures. A little bit more side art where you can see the other three figures. And then we're going to keep turning it around. And it's going to tell us specifically what's in here. Uh, includes six collectible miniature game pieces, character cards, three object and terrain token sheets, uh, one powers and abilities card, a rule book, two uh, full color maps, two dice. Now the two full color maps is important to note that it is one map that is double sided so don't look for two separate maps. Uh, that's confusing for some new players. Uh, the two dice could be cool. Hopefully they have WWE logo on them. Uh, the powers and abilities card is important. That is almost the entire reason if you're not into this set that you would buy it um, because it will have all of the new WWE powers on them which are going to be important because this game is compatible with standard hero clicks so you're very likely to run across them right now uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed <laughs> So now that we got all that stuff out, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the contents of what's in here. So uh, to start off, uh, pretty disappointed. Uh, the two dice that come with it are just standard. Um, these are the smaller standard dice. No WWE logo. Come on, kids. That would have been such an easy thing. You could even charge me an extra dollar if it would have cost you that much more for the licensing. Um, but anyway, so you do get two dice, um, albeit... Just regular uh, white dice with black pips. So uh, you do get um, six light objects. Um, normally when you buy a starter set, it's got three heavy and three light. Um, however, any character in Hero Clicks can pick up a light object. So that's probably it. And these are standard ones that you're going to see around any wrestling ring. You've got your chair. You've got your table. You've got your ladder, your steps, your trash can, and your briefcase. So that's pretty cool there. Backside just says Hero, uh, WizKids Hero Clicks. Uh, then you've got your terrain markers, which uh, you've got two sheets of them. So you've got six hindering, six water, and then you've got uh, six smoke cloud and four barrier in total, along with two uh, specials. And you just punch these out, no big deal. Um, and as far as collecting, leaving them not punched uh, doesn't mean anything. Um, then you've got your two-sided map. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, we've got uh, the two-sided map here, um, which we will maybe take a look at another time just because there's no good way to film this. But uh, one is sort of the back area of the uh, the WWE, um, and then the other is the, the main ring. Uh, so pretty cool there. Um, the nice thing about the main ring side is that there's no real um, blocking terrain, uh, which can be good for certain uh, matchups. Uh, then you've got the uh, core universe, uh, single universe core rulebook. Uh, so that's your rules for Hero Clicks, which is uh, pretty cool there. 
Uh, then you've got probably the most important piece of literature out of this, which is the uh, WWE Hero Clicks Powers and Abilities card. As you can see, it's got all those red circle powers there, uh, along with, uh, what else does it have here? Does it have things like super strength? No. So it is missing uh, some standard power. So this just has the powers that I guess they're using for WWE, uh, which is a combination of standard Hero Clicks Powers and Abilities along with the specific WWE one. So we take a look. Uh, we'll just pull one for an example. This first one, Flying Leap. Uh, power, uh, improved movement, ignores hindering and characters. Move up to three squares, then make a close attack, modifying attack, plus one. When this character starts adjacent to ropes, to rope, to, plus, to two plus ropes, I promise I can read. Also modify damage, plus one. Um, so that's different than what this power would be without the red circle, which is leap climb, um, which hands out a, a form of improved movement. Uh, then we've got uh, your basic rules for you know, critical hits and moving and stuff like that. Uh, then you've got uh, inherent abilities, improved abilities, uh, map terrain, and I did see one part that's worth mentioning. Uh, yes, okay, so these are your uh, specific WWE abilities, uh, like Bounce Pin, WWE Team Ability, and then Multiverse Games, uh, what some of that stuff uh, would mean in a Multiverse Game, which would be like WWE plus some extra things. Uh, so this is worth the price of admission by itself. It's nice, it's a, a laminated uh, piece of paper that's been tri-folded. So definitely worth getting. Uh, I don't know for sure if they have it available to download for free on their website, uh, WizKids' website, which is wizkids.com, um, or the, the, the specific Heroclix website, which is uh, heroclix.com that WizKids uh, puts out there. Um, they have the standard powers and abilities card there. I would assume they're going to have that one there, but I don't know that for sure. So if you want a nice copy that's laminated, starter set's the way to go. And then on top of that, you get six figures. Um, two of them I was pretty excited for. And to the best of my knowledge, these are different than their single booster versions. So it does behoove you to possibly get... Um, both of them so I may still if there's a big difference uh, pick up the standard set Ric Flair uh, at my discretion uh, maybe a Shawn Michaels we'll see uh, so we'll just take a look at the sculpt so here's the rock pretty cool there I believe the regular sculpt has him holding his microphone uh, again paint application on these is good uh, the starter set ones just have the white rarity tab uh, so, and they have the 100 numbering. So it, this one's going to be 101 and it's the rock. So really cool there. Then we've got 105 Ric Flair, oldest ride, longest line. This is probably the guy I was most excited about from this, uh, starter set. E even if he's terrible, I'll probably play him just so I can get a few woos out there. Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like the, this sculpt could have been better. This is not uh, the best sculpt. The rock one is definitely iconic rock. Uh, I get that this is iconic um, flair, but we could have done like a boa or something like that. You know, kind of kind of gave it a little bit. Um, and then we've got uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin here. He is number 103. So there he is. Again, classic Stone Cold sculpt. Um, again, though, or uh, pose. Uh, again, though, not sure that this is a chase level sculpt. Chase level sculpt would have been having a uh, corner post out of the ring where he's standing on it and doing the same uh, pose to me. Uh, again, I'm going to be a little bit harsh on these because they, um, they're charging more for these. And they, they said it would be a specific way to justify the price increase. Um, so I'm going to be pretty hard lined on that these need to be perfect if they're gonna charge that extra. And uh, I may get into another video as to why that is because there's other miniatures games out there 
that have near perfect sculpts uh, for about what they're charging for the single figures. Um, now this starter set is by far the cheapest way to get figures. Uh, you got six figures, or at least I got six figures for right around a $17 price tag. So basically the price of two figures, I got six figures, uh, a map, a rule book, a uh, powers and abilities card, and all those tokens. So definitely worth it for the starter set. I'm not complaining about the starter set in general, uh, mostly just the single figures. Uh, so then we've got uh, Shawn Michaels here, and I really like this um, this uh, like fireworks thing behind him where they put a the little bit of glitter on there. And if you pick it up, you can kind of feel the glitter that's in the plastic, but that's okay. Uh, he's number 106 in the set. So pretty cool there. He's got his Heartbreak Kid pants on. Hopefully they sell enough of these where they're able to do a second series because there were some, at least from the area that I watched wrestling, some very notable omissions. I'm sure that people uh, from other eras that enjoyed other eras of wrestling noticed some people missing as well. So why don't you guys tell me in the comments below what um, wrestler you think was most missing from this set. I think that would be pretty interesting to look at. Uh, next, we've got Triple H. He's probably got the second best sculpt in here just because he's got this thing where, you know, he'd spit the water up in the air uh, and they've put the uh, the glitter in there. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, again, um, I think, you know, the, pla the glitter plastic's pretty cool. Uh, he's number 104 in the set, by the way. However, um, could have been doing this off of a, a corner of a wrestling ring. There's a different sculpt in the set that had a corner of a wrestling ring. Uh, they could have literally just reused that, but uh, they chose not to. So there's that. And then we've got Mankind with Sokka. Uh, so hopefully uh, he's got some kind of dual attack thing. But uh, anyway, he is number 102 in the set. And we're just going to briefly look at these... Uh, cards here and don't worry uh there's gonna be a separate video i believe that i i'm gonna do where i just go over and and show you guys and we talk about the specific wwe powers uh from this pac uh it'll be uh, kind of low tech it'll probably just be me in front of the camera showing you and discussing them but uh just to get that information out there for people uh so first uh card we're gonna look at is rick flair uh, so let's go ahead and get this focused up so you might be able to read it. Uh, number 105, uh, Evolution, um, yeah, Henan Family, WWE. Uh, I'm sure I said that wrong. Oh, I feel so dumb. Uh, anyway, uh, signature move, low blow while the ref is uh, distracted. Close. If Ric Flair has one action token, make a close attack. Uh, if he hits instead of normal damage, roll a d6 and deal... The hit character uh, damage equal to the result, minimum three damage. If the result was one, also give Ric Flair a referee warning token. When more Ric Flair uses a sign signature move, modify his attack minus one for each referee warning token he has. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. Uh, and then he's got uh, a special on his attack called Eye Gouge, stun, but hit characters modify defense minus two and and damage minus one so that must be uh, a wwe power there um so <laughs> he's got yes all right so look at those the names for those powers styling profiling limousine riding jet flying wheeling dealing son of a gun oh that's so good that's such good flavor text anyway uh <laughs> i'm i'm definitely i don't care if he's garbage i'm using him uh, so, anyway, all the WWE guys have zero range. I feel like they're, that's a must. I don't need to go over it. 75 points. And he's got a seven movement with that, uh, whatever the black circle is. Uh, 10 attack with that special. 17 defense, combat reflexes, and indomitability. Two damage with probability control. So, it looks like they really want you to use that uh, signature move with him. So, pretty cool there. Definitely super happy to have him. Uh, if you couldn't tell already... Then we've got Shawn Michaels. Uh, so he's number 106. He's got uh, Degeneration X, New World Order, WWE. Signature move, Sweet Chin Music. Uh, close, uh, improved movement, ignores characters. If Shawn Michaels has one action token, move him up to half his speed value, then make a close attack targeting, uh, close attack modifying attack and damage value, plus one for each 
turning up the band token. After resolutions, remove those tokens. Turning up the band. At the end of your turn, if Shawn Michaels was not given a cost of action this turn, give him a turn up the band token. When Shawn Michaels is damaged by an attack, remove all turn up the band tokens. Uh, then he's got um, Nimble and Sidestep. So, pretty cool there. Uh, he's 75 points, has a 10 movement with that special 11 attack. 17 defense, combat reflexes, indomitability, 2 damage with perplex, WWE team ability. Ric Flair also had the WWE team ability. I can't think of anybody that's not going to have the WWE team ability. Uh, but anyway, so there's that. Then we've got The Rock. Uh, he is uh, Corporation, uh, Rock and Sock Connection, WWE Celebrity. Signature move, Rock Bottom. Close, if the Rock has one action token, make a close attack, modify damage, plus two if the target has no action tokens, or plus one if they have one action token. If he hits, a target modifies defense at minus one this turn. It doesn't matter what you think is the special <laughs> on his damage, and it's uh, when a chosen character, uh, when an opposing character uses Outwit, Perplex, or Probability Control to target the Rock, or an adjacent friendly character, roll d6, 4 through 6. Instead, the opposing character can't use that power this turn. Ooh, that's so good. Uh, so anyway, 75 points, WWE team ability. Has a, an 8 movement with charge. Uh, 11 attack, 18 defense, toughness, indomitability, 3 damage with that special. Uh, so pretty cool there. Uh, definitely cool. I like that it doesn't matter what you think flavor text. Uh, then we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. WWE and Celebrity Keywords. Uh, signature move, crack open a six-pack of stunners. Close, if Stone Cold Steve Austin has one action token. Make a close attack. Each time he hits, after resolutions, uh, after the attack resolves, he may move up to two squares using improved movement ignores characters, then make a close attack targeting a friendly or opposing character he hasn't attacked this turn. He may repeat this as long as he's as able Oh, so that'd be so, really good for, um, like, if you were going to do Royal Rumble-style uh, matches. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. Uh, then they've got uh, a special on his uh, damage, which is power. Choose an adjacent opposing character. Make a number of close attacks, maximum four, targeting the chosen character equal to the number of ropes adjacent to that character. Uh, so pretty cool there. Uh, 75 points. I'm noticing a pattern here. WWE Team Ability. 8 movement with flurry, 11 attack, 18 defense with toughness and indomitability, 3 damage without wit. All right, we've only got two left. Uh, first one is Triple H. Uh, he's got authority, uh, corporate ministry, uh, corporation, degeneration X, evolution, WWE, assassin, and politician. Assassin's kind of a odd pick there. Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know the, the storyline where he would have gotten Assassin. Uh, his uh, signature move is Spine Buster. If Triple H has one action token, make a close attack, modifying attack and damage plus one for each action token on the target. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, then he's uh, got a special on his movement. Charge. The first opposing character to attack each turn modifies attack minus one. All right. That's pretty good. Mi minus one attack across the board. Uh, is just good. Uh, so he's 70 points, has the WWE team ability, starts off with an 8 movement with that special series, so starting the game with that, that's really good. Uh, 10 attack, 18 defense with indomitability and toughness, 3 damage with leadership. Uh, this guy is actually pretty good. That 10 attack is uh, a little lackluster, but all of his other stats are on point, and that global effect uh, on top is pretty good. Uh, then... We've got the last figure, which is Mankind, number 102. Uh, Rock and Sock Connection, WWE, and Monster are his keywords. Uh, his signature move is Mr. Socko. If Mankind has one action token, make a close attack. After resolutions, a hit target gains a mobile and is given an action token. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, then he's got uh, a special on his damage called Cactus Jack or Dude Love. Choose free, choose one. Mankind can use Perplex until your next turn or heal Mankind one click. Healing's always good. Perplex is also good, I've heard. Uh, so he's 70 points, has the WWE team ability. 7 move charge, 11 attack with uh, blue circle. Uh, 17 defense with toughness and indomitability. 
three damage with perplex. Ooh, that's not bad. That's a pretty good little figure there. Uh, so you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite figure from this starter set is. If you picked one up, have you tried it yet? Uh, that stuff's always interesting for me to read. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. And it also lets YouTube know, hey, other people might like this video. That's all I have for you guys today. As always, please remember that it's uncritical miss if you don't have probability control.